Hey everybody, I'm Ed Hellman. I'm the writer director of Retire for the Evening, and I'm here with Charlie Kanev, who is the puppet builder and puppet designer. And we're going to talk about how he took our concept design and moved it into the actual puppet that you see in the film, and also his interests and his background in puppetry and all that amazing stuff. Right, Charlie? Well, when you told me that you wanted to have the puppet sort of be inspired by a horse skull and sort of a catfish, I took the elements that were really sort of stood out about those animals, like the uh, tendrils and the the nose and the like very skeletal structure of the eyes and the jaw bones. And I originally incorporated all of those into the puppet so that it could look like those animals, but still have the elements that made it still look like a sock puppet so that it could change back into a normal sock at the end of the film. There are about 10 I believe that I'm making right now and those are for the various stages in the film when he's very bright and new and then he sort of ages throughout the film and in the end I needed to have different puppets so that they could do different things during the film. We were originally gonna have an animatronic or mechanical version of the puppet for scenes where like eyes needed to move and for breathing but in the end we decided not to do that because we realized that it could be achieved with puppetry. I was actually testing different options for when he breathes on the glass, including like humidifier, heater, different things like that. And I ended up choosing, figuring out that the best way to do it was just by taking a very thick hose and by blowing into the hose with hot breath. And that really worked out well. I think the things that most struck me about the project was the storyline, first of all, because it it really is a good representation of how a lot of puppeteers are connected with their puppets because the puppet chooses to live on after the puppeteer dies. So it's sort of like showing how all the puppeteer's energy and life he puts into the puppet in his life really makes the puppet live on. So I really liked that and I also really liked the I really liked the design of the puppet first of all. And I just really liked the like emotion behind the film because I felt as though it didn't seem like a useless thought up thing. It really seemed like there was some emotion and thought put into it. Right now I'm currently in a show called The Adventures of Maya the Bee. I'm also working on a few other shows, um, building and restoring puppets. And I'm currently working on my own show. It's a version of Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid and it's involving Bunraku, Rod, and Shadow Puppets. I first became interested in puppetry probably in around 2000, and then <clears throat> I went to a school where Liat Klingman was my teacher, and she sort of helped me develop my interest in puppetry. And then I um, worked with Liat on her film Wolfie's Journey, and I sort of helped her build the puppets and sets for the film. And then I worked at the Surflight Theater. I designed and built a bunch of large-scale puppets and set pieces for them, including like a giant wizard head, um, the Magic Mirror puppet. I began to work at a store called Abracadabra where I got different prop jobs and sometimes puppet jobs, so that also really got my interest in making puppets. Um, and then me being a puppeteer in Maya the Bee has really made me a better puppeteer and made me much more interested, so now I'm really a part of the puppetry community. The community is just so small and yet large at the same time. Small as in like everyone in the puppet world knows pretty much everyone. And also that it's really welcoming and that they really accept new puppeteers and they're really encouraging to, about puppeteering and puppets. So if you have a project, everyone is interested. Um, everyone knows about almost every puppet project. And it's just really, it's a great community. I'm really proud to be working with Charlie and to have a project that showcases his talent. Please check us out at rockethub.com or at our Facebook page, 
and uh, show us a little support by donating maybe and help us uh, fund this project. It's a really cool project and uh, I think you'll all really like it a lot. <laughs>